What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am C Pine, and you should subscribe to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over some of the loadouts that I think are great for Modern Warfare 2 and that will probably be really good for Warzone 2. Loadouts have been confirmed in Warzone 2. So without any further ado, this is gonna be kind of a quicker video. Let's jump on into it. I'm gonna first start off by giving you some of the best ARs that you can pair with a good SMG, and then I'm gonna go into a marksman rifle slash sniper rifle class with a nice sniper support. And then finally, we have some honorable mentions that are kind of uh, like just below the meta, but are gonna be insanely good still. So first off, everybody's favorite is gonna be the M4. And before I jump into this, some of the attachments are going to be the exact same pretty much throughout, just as we've seen in the previous Call of Duties. So I'll go into some detail on the first couple of classes, but then it might get a little bit quicker. So pretty much every attachment that is good is gonna give you a negative ads speed bonus which is stupid in my opinion let's just speed up the game a little bit i don't know just a thought but with the m4 you do have two options for a muzzle the first is my opinion is the best is the ecoline gsx it gives you a damage range con but it doesn't give you that ads speed penalty while also giving you a bit of recoil control and sound suppression now next if you want more recoil control and you don't care about that ads penalty then i would go with the rf crown 50 it's going to give you the horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control like we're used to from previous war zones and call of duties but like i said it does hurt your ADS speed. It doesn't seem yet that any of the barrels are truly viable, so we're going to skip that for now. And I'm going to jump over to the laser, where you're going to want to use the FSS OLV laser, pretty much for any AR. This is essentially the old TAC laser, but with this, you do have a laser that's visible to enemies. But if you don't want that, then I suggest the Schlager PEQ Box 4. And you can unlock this. I clearly don't have it unlocked yet. You can unlock this by getting the Signal 50 to level 3. This just gives you ADS speed and no cons. However, I prefer the old V laser because it gives you ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, which is pretty essential in this game considering the TTK is so freaking low. Next for the optic, you can do a couple things. Obviously, you can go with the Chrono Mini Red Dot if you want the traditional red dot. I prefer this kind of square red dot, which is the Sigma 4 optic. I believe you have to get uh, something to level three and it's super easy. And then that long range for Warzone is gonna be the VOK 4.0 optic. It's the same exact thing as the VOK 3.0 optic that we're used to from Modern Warfare 19, except it's 4.0, even though it still feels like 3.0. Now, with all these attachments, you can tune most of them once you get to the max level for that weapon. I'm not going to do that in this video, but if you want to see that, let me know in the comments and I will do that in another video. So for Warzone 2, I'm going to say that we're going to use probably the 60 round mag again, as always, just for those extra rounds at the super long ranges. But for Modern Warfare 2, I would not suggest putting a mag on because it does hurt your ADS speed pretty greatly and it's really just not needed on the small maps. So what I would suggest instead is for your ammunition type, put on the 5.56 high velocity on your ARs. This is gonna really help you out with those long ranges, getting those kills and having your bullets go exactly where you are expecting them to go as fast as possible. And then finally for the ARs, there's a couple things that you could do in the underbarrel slot. And in my opinion, my favorite is the FTAC Ripper. However, if you don't want that ADS penalty, then you can go with something like the FSS Shark Fin or the X10 Drop Grip. These are both gonna give you that same aiming idle stability and recoil control. So those are pretty good options as well. So now before I jump into the secondary for this class, I wanna go into the firing range really quick and do two things. One, show you the recoil control for the M4, and then two, show you the second AR that I think is gonna be the best. Okay, so you can go into the firing range by going over to the weapons tab and then hitting Y, holding Y or triangle or whatever, whatever your key bind is. And then here you just wanna select your loadout. And basically what this is, is your first target is gonna be at 10 meters, your second target is gonna be at 20 meters, and then the last target is gonna be at 50. And you can tell right now, this is the class that we're using. Look at this ADS speed, it's really freaking good. So even with the 60 round mag, it's still pretty good. So I'm gonna go, there's there's your 10 meters, there's your 20 meters, and there's your, there's your 50 meters. As you can tell, the recoil's not terrible. Reload speed isn't bad. I'm gonna show you the 50 meters really quick. So again, there's a lot of shake to the left at the long ranges. So you can go and actually use something at like we talked about earlier, where if you go and change out the muzzle for the RF Crown 50, which gives you the horizontal and vertical recoil control, we can go and compare the two there. So again, now the only thing I've just changed is the muzzle. And you can see, while we're not suppressed, the recoil control is a lot easier to handle. Okay, so, ne so next I just want to jump into the next AR, which is, in my opinion, going to be the best, and that's going to be the Kastov 7.62. This is basically like the AMAX and the AK-47 had a baby. And for this gun, it's going to be the same shtick, the Ecoline GSX, which I don't have unlocked, obviously, but you need to get the attack feed to level 16. Or if you want that vertical and horizontal recoil control, then go with the Boar 490. All right, so now let's talk about the Lockman sub. And yes, I did change shirts. I recorded that first half this morning, and now it's, it's clearly nighttime. I mean, you can't see any light coming from there. So yeah, it's, it's nighttime. 
So the Lockman sub, which is basically just the MP5 with extra steps, what you want to do, what you're gonna want to do is honestly, I don't know yet if we'll need a mag, so we're going to not toss one on just now for Warzone. That is for Modern Warfare 2, we definitely don't need one. So for your underbarrel, you're gonna want to use the Phase 3 grip. Yes, I know it does hurt your ADS speed, but that's okay. For your muzzle, and I know I don't have it unlocked because I'm a bad boy, but you use the Fox 202 Flash Rider, which you get from leveling up the fennec to level 16 but if you want something suppressed i would just go with this first suppressor here the forge dx 90 f we're not going to take a barrel but we are going to take the vlk laser at seven milliwatts as your laser and for the optic i highly recommend the corona mini pro this is the best optic it's the blue dot you get this by leveling the expedite to level seven it takes two seconds now finally for the stock you're going to want to go with the stockless mod that's going to be your best in slot for mobility and again, some of these attachments do carry over to other SMGs, but I will just quickly show you kind of like what you're going to expect with the recoil and everything. Uh, this is like mild recoil control on my end. I'm not really going crazy. And again, this is 10 meters, 20 meters and 50 meters. If I really want to get crazy with it, we can. Uh, I'm going to need another round for that for that 50 meters, but I don't think we're going to even get this kill with 30 bullets because, yeah, it's it's not good at 50 meters, just FYI. Pretty much any of the SMGs that we talk about can also be used as a sniper support in Warzone 2 or Modern Warfare 2 if you go the overkill route, which I don't really recommend in Modern Warfare 2 going the overkill route because your other perks are so much more viable. But you can still do it and you can get away with pretty much using any of the SMGs that we talk about. You might have to kit out your MP5 a little bit more for recoil control, but that's that's okay. As for the Marksman Rifle, the best right now is the SPR 208. I think this is going to get nerfed, but for right now, I highly recommend using it. And for the ammunition type, we're going to go first with the high velocity ammo. For your bolt type, you go with the FSS ST87 bolt. This just helps you with the firing speed. For your stock, you go with the ZRL pad extension, the second one. For your optic, there's two options here. There's actually a, a few options, quite honestly. You can get away with red dots and stuff like that, but I prefer either the VLK4 or the 6.6x which is my preferred because it's more of a traditional sniper scope so if you're using this on like invasion or ground war or in warzone i do recommend the 6.6 and for your laser i just recommend the old v laser i think this is a pretty solid option on just about any gun it's pretty much like attack laser but with a bigger name if you're going to use this in warzone i don't recommend putting this stock on instead i would put a barrel on that gives you some more bullet velocity and damage range so something like this first one as well as i would probably take off this bolt and put a muzzle on to suppress your shots um using pretty much just this first one so your ads speed is going to be a lot lower it's going to be more of like the car 98k from modern warfare 19 without the sport comb on it like the precision on it instead it'll be more like that if you're looking for a sniper support in my opinion and the best is going to be the Kazdov 74U until they nerf it. I have a feeling, again, they're going to nerf this prior to Warzone 2, but who knows? So for something like this, you go with a 45 round mag. On your underbarrel, you go with the shark fin or the pineapple grip. Personally, because you're using this as more of a sniper support, I would put this last barrel on at the BR-209. With a laser, I would do the canted or the old. The old V, is my opinion, is the best. And for the optic, you do something like the Cronin Mini Pro, which is the good sight that we talked about earlier. Now you can change some of these around obviously or just tune them as you want for example you might want to take off the barrel and put something put on a stock that gives you maybe some more strafe speed or movement speed or something or if you feel like you're getting stuck at certain ranges you can put on the high velocity rounds or maybe even the suppressor if you're feeling spicy and finally i want to talk about some honorable mentions these are going to be technically the third loadout that we ha that we have here on the top three loadouts so quite honestly which is hilarious is that all of these ars are insanely good the TAC-56 is basically the SCAR, but better. And thankfully, with this iteration of it, they gave us more than just like 20 freaking bullets. It actually has a 60-round mag. So if you want to play around with that, it has the same attachments as if you were using the M4. So you go with the 60-round mag, the VLK-4X, the old laser, the high-velocity ammo, the FTAC ripper, or the shark fin, whatever you want for your underbarrel. And I'm going to jump into firing range with this thing. I mean, it's, it's insanely good. It's really good at all ranges. Um, again, you don't have a silencer on this, so you do have to kind of keep that in mind. If I were to put a silencer on it, I would probably take off the FTAC Ripper and toss something on that gives you suppression and recoil control. The Broadhead or something like the Gauge 9 maybe. Both pretty good options, but you just want to make sure that you're kind of balancing the recoil control and the actual attachment itself. So 
Obviously, that's a little bit better to handle at the long ranges, in my opinion. So keep that in mind. Now, much like the TAC, you have the Lockman 556 and the SCB 556. They are the same attachments that we just talked about previously, like the M4 or the cast off. Refer back to those if you want. But the Lockman is pretty much the growl, just with a different name. Like I'm telling you, it's the same freaking gun. And the STB is actually insanely good. And that kind of surprised a lot of us, considering it's like an AUG with extra steps. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I don't know why they keep changing these names. And for the SMG class, you have the VEL, which is the MP7 with extra steps. The MX-9, which I only have used a little bit, so I haven't gotten too far into testing it, but it felt pretty good with the Fennec rounding the class off as kind of like a hybrid range to just like overall shotgun feel in, in the short ranges. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it was at all helpful to you, please consider dropping the sub, a like, and comment what your favorite part is, weapon, whatever is about Modern Warfare 2 and soon to be Warzone 2. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.